Hi, my name's Dale and welcome to Metal Tips and Tricks. An acid brush is probably one of the most favored ways for the home machinist to add cutting fluid to a cutting edge. One of the most unpopular things to do is just pour it into a normal tuna can that can tip over. And we need to fix that. Now there are commercial ones out there that you can buy and they're excellent. They just don't look cool. Another system is Tubal Cane or Mr. Pete 222 did one about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. That was excellent and there'll be a link in the bottom of here if you want to see it. Great, great video. But it also had some shortcomings. Well, somebody else came up with a great idea using an aluminum beer bottle. Yes, I said aluminum beer bottle. So this idea isn't mine. I'm just kind of adding to it because I've got an extra little twist to it. So if we take an aluminum beer bottle like this, yeah, aluminum, kind of trippy, isn't it? Well, let me get some backup and have some clarification. I just want you guys to know, no beer was dumped out to make this video. Okay. What we're gonna do is build a system just like this that the brush can go into, but we need to add the anti-spill fixture to that. And what it really is, it's the, top of this bottle gets pressed into the can, so we need to cut the can in half. The extra caveat to this is we're going to make it a double anti-spill system to really prevent the oil from pulling out, or pouring out, I mean. So if we take a normal can like this, we're going to cut it up into three sections. We actually need two bottles, two. One is going to be the base, one is going to be the main insert, and then another one we're going to cut off the top and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. And it all gets pressed together. I simply just took this over to the bandsaw and just cut up what I needed. Basically what I came up with is I cut the top off and if you see my measurements are basically, I cut the Budweiser out. Nothing against Budweiser, okay. Um, I actually like Bud Light. I know that's kind of strange. When I go to a restaurant and I order beer, I usually order a Guinness. And if they don't have Guinness, I order a Bud Light. Quite a contrast, but that's just kind of the way it is. So I just cut the Bud Light off, and that's going to give me the right measurements to press this in. So let me show you. I'm going to use a milling machine vise, very easy. I did have to take the jaws out to make this uh, work a little better. And we're just gonna put it in there, press it in. So as you can see, that's it. Very, very simple. Now, as it is, right now is really good. And if you look, I mean, it's hard to see, but the top of the bottle here goes in, and it's about three quarters of an inch off the bottom or so. Right now, we could be, consider this finished. But I want to take it to another level. I'm going to add another baffle in there. Now, you can see that I also cut the top of this off. And basically you can see I just cut it where the red line is. And this is going to be my other baffle. We're going to force it in exactly the same way. Now there is a burr when you cut this on the bandsaw. There we go. Now we have a double baffle system. So when this does tip over, it's not going to lose the oil. So let me pull out some uh, cutting fluid here. And I don't want to fill it up. Oh, that's a little high. Let me back up a little bit. Now, <laughs> of course, you can't pour it out. That's the whole point. So if I turn this over, it's not going to spill out. And that's what we're trying to do here. Now, 
as the brush goes in here, you can see it has a little tip to it, but the fluid itself is what adds the ballast to it to prevent it from tipping over. So I've got a double safe tip over system here. The worst thing is the brush falls out. But as you can see, very cool. And we also have the Statue of Liberty on it to help match the American flag in the background. It's just a great looking um, oil can. You know, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, please give me some thumbs up. Click on the little button there, give me some thumbs up. Also love to hear your positive comments. Till next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.